Hi, my name is Dory Golden and this is Haley Kreft and we are the registered dietitians here at Berks Community Health Center and today we are going to be talking about a healthy recipe and getting kids fresh fruits and vegetables to um, discuss a little bit what September is which is Childhood Obesity Month. All right, thank you. So today we're making a basic pico de gallo which is a tomato based salsa. You'll find it a lot of times in Mexican dishes but it goes really well with a lot of other dishes as well. Um, and as you can see, I've got the ingredients out in front of me. The main ingredient is our tomatoes, but there's some onion and garlic in here and some jalapeno peppers to spice things up a little bit. And then we've got cilantro, lime, and a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on prepping. I've already started slicing tomatoes, so I'll continue while Dory talks. So one thing that I like to talk to parents and kids about is just looking at your child's hand because that can remind kids and parents a little bit of information. So it can remind first how many fruits and vegetables we should have in the course of the day for our kids. So the answer is five. So I say to kids, how many fingers do you have? That's how many fruits and vegetables you should try to have during your day. Um, and an easy way to do that would be to try to have a fresh fruit with breakfast, not juice, um, a fresh fruit. And then with lunch, maybe have a fresh vegetable and then a fruit as well. And then with dinner, maybe trying to have your plate look like this, which would be about half of your plate vegetables. So they don't have to be fresh. They can be canned if you can rinse them off to get off about 50% of the salt. Frozen vegetables are also great and convenient. Fresh uh, vegetables work as well. So then the other two things that we would like to talk about with your hand would be portion size. Um, so your hand can reveal a couple things about how much food kids should be getting at one time. So for example, a fist. So a child's fist would be about the size of grain. So that could be potatoes, rice, or noodles. The portion size should be about the size of your fist or about a quarter of your plate. Also the palm of the hand. So this is for kids and adults. So the size of the palm of your hand would be about your protein portion, which could be lean chicken, turkey, and fish. Um, so now Haley is gonna talk a little bit more about um, our recipe. Okay, so as you can see, we got our tomatoes and our onion here. It called for five tomatoes. Um, and then it called for a small red onion. I used about a quarter of a large one. That's totally to preference how much you like onion. I'm just chopping up some garlic, I'm actually mincing it as small as possible, and there's two cloves of garlic. Um, and then the fun part of the recipe is our jalapeno pepper, so I have one here. Um, the interesting thing is that it's actually the seeds that make the jalapeno, the seeds from the jalapeno pepper is what really brings the spiciness. So if you like your dish a little bit spicy, you can you can keep those seeds in there, but if you don't, you can kind of take them out. So for our purposes, I took them out. And of course, if a jalapeno pepper is just too spicy altogether, you could substitute for a bell pepper as well. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is the division of responsibility for kids and parents and who is responsible for what when it comes to our food. So for the parents, it's the parents' job to decide what is being served, when it is being served, and where it is being served, and where your kids are gonna be eating their meals. It's always best to be eating during um, a time of minimal distraction, so eating at a table, not with tablets, not with screen time, because the more we're watching screens and tablets, it's really easy to just eat mindlessly. So we really want kids kind of focusing on what they're eating when they're eating. So then it's the child's job to determine how much they're going to eat. So are they willing to try new foods? And the one thing that a parent can do is just have repeated exposure because more that kids, the more that kids are exposed to fruits and vegetables, the more they're gonna be willing to try new things. So don't get discouraged because it takes a child about 13 to 15 tries before they can actually even decide if they like a food or not. So don't give up when it comes to fruits and vegetables. Try offering a food that a child likes, maybe strawberries with something they don't like so much, like green beans, because if they eat one thing, then they might kind of migrate over and try the other thing. And again, repeated exposure is very important. So okay, let's go back to Haley and see how she's doing with our recipe. All right, so we got a fourth of a cup of cilantro chopped and in our bowl. Um, and so I'm now just squeezing a lime quickly to add that to our recipe. 
and our lime is um, about a tablespoon. So you can go ahead and measure out about a tablespoon there. Um, and then the last ingredient here is a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'll go ahead and add that as well. And then I'll mix this up so you can get a better idea of what this looks like all mixed up. So it's nice and bright and fresh. Exactly like that. And so we have fresh vegetables to eat this. Instead of a chip, you can scoop a fresh vegetable for eating it. You can always add it to um, as a topping for eggs or chicken or pretty much anything that you like. Okay, well, we hope that you enjoyed our demonstration today and thank you for listening. Have a good day.